Hello and welcome to the Haas Tip of the Day, where we cover the topics that every Haas machinist needs to know. My name is Mark and today we're going to show you how your Haas control can keep track of the number of parts that you're running automatically. What we're talking about is your M30 counter. Now I have a program loaded in the control right now. I'm going to press cycle start. Every time the program ends and reaches an M30, my counter goes up by one. 17, 18, 19, 20. Now one thing that I'm noticing here is that we've got two counters. Why do we have two counters instead of one? Well, you might keep track of the total number of finished parts that you're going to run or have run and then also reset one of those counters for each shift so you know how many parts each shift has run. Let's go ahead and do that now. I'm going to go to the control and press current commands. Now I have to page up or page down until I reach the operation timers and setup page. Now this operation timers and setup page is linked with the small timers and counters window that shows up when you're in memory mode. I'm going to arrow up and down until I reach the M30 counter number one and I'm going to press one button, origin. Now that one button changes whatever the counter is currently set to, to a zero. I'm going to press cycle start again, and it's going from one to two to three, and my counter number two is now going from 22 to 23 to 24. So we can keep track of two different things at the same time. Let's say we're running a different program, and we're hitting cycle start, and we're running our parts, and we look down at our counters, and nothing's happening. It should be clicking up, but it's not. What's wrong? What's broken? Well, we know that the M30 at the bottom of our program is what triggers our M30 counter. In this program, we don't have an M30. We've got an M99. Lots of programs don't have an M30 because they loop continuously. Lots of lathe programs with bar feeders and this type of thing. So we're not getting our numbers recorded on our counter. Well, we can fix that by going to the setting page, entering 118, down arrow, we see setting 118, M99 bumps M30 counters. If this is set to on, it's now gonna bump up our M30 counter by one every time an M99 is reached at the bottom of our main program. Let's try it. So now my M30 counter is going from 32 to 33 to 34 because we changed setting 118. The M99 or the M30 that are being counted are just the ones that are in your, your main program and not subs. Now when we press the origin button, it did one thing. It changes whatever the number is to a zero. If you have the macros option on your control, you can write to the M30 counter and change that number to whatever you'd like. I'll show you how that works. Under MDI, I've entered pound 3901 equals 120. I'm going to hit cycle start. When I go back to memory page, M30 counter number one now equals 120. If I had entered pound 3902 equals 120, it would have changed my M30 counter number two to that value. Pretty simple. Well, that's it for our M30 counters video. Now you can click on the link on your screen for some bonus content. We've thrown together some macro programs that make use of these variables for you. Well, I had fun making the video. I hope you enjoyed watching it. And thanks for watching this Haas Tip of the Day.